tonight. From CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. and the Seattle Seahawks taking on Nick Foles and the Chicago Bears. It is a sound like no other when they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle. We just heard it, and that means it's time for football at Century Link Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Chicago Bears and the Seattle Seahawks. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Seattle's first go on offense, forthcoming, and under center, of course, Russell Wilson. But when I reviewed last week's game and saw the four touchdown passes that he threw, I thought about you during the Turkey Bowl last year. Yeah, you guys right. had the same stats, except he got the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award with his. Uh, he got touchdowns, I got picks. <laughs> I like going back watching the film with you, and we thought it was a good performance in person, obviously was, but you thought even better on tape. It was it was really something to watch. Yeah, what I love was how he spread it around. A lot of people involved in the passing oh, offense. Oh. Four touchdown passes culminated it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. down. He lets it fly. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he takes it all the way down to the three. It's a big play there for Seattle. 41 yards. They're moving the ball through the air pretty well on this opening drive. And to me, it was evident that they were set on doing exactly that here to get this game started. And their belief and determination is certainly paying off. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! Greg Olson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. A drive there of just four plays. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, the MVP of Super Bowl 52, Nick Foles. And coming up of an early season open week, 
week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, he always told his runners, run around the offensive line and pre. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Not easy for Nick Foles and the Bears now. Third and long after the sack. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to wind up and air it out. And unable to connect on the long pass. He actually brings it in, but he was out of bounds. Incomplete. Wait a second. They did not accept that after the incompletion. What? I've, I've, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. Colquitt on to kick as he sends it away. Now it's Lockett. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Wilson. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. In on the tackle. Brings up third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And we do talk a lot about how the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. It used to be that they were linemen who occasionally caught passes. Now they're wide receivers who occasionally block people. And right here, this isn't tight end speed. It's definitely wide receiver speed. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Here's Carson. Carson the first down and more. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play... And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Wow! Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. 
There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Cohen now to return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 to score as they regroup with first and 10. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw again on second down. Foles, open man is Komet, the tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Foles on target to Robinson for the Chicago first. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Foles, the screen pass here to Cohen. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. This is intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. Quadre Diggs. Foles pass. Let's go. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. After the interception, here's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf, and it's third down. Being chased out left. And that one will fall incomplete. Intended clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. I'm the best and in the game. All the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because 
When he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the next-gen stats are going to tell the story. And wow, what a story it is. Nearly a full 23 miles an hour. One of the fastest plays on record, folks. Myers connects on the PAT. And it's now 21 to nothing. to kick off for Seattle. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Cohen now to return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. First and 10 at their own 20 yard At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. So we the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. Let's do it. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Here's Cohen now to return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. On the ground with a tight end. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First play of the drive, a first down run. Well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go. Do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels? Or do you play chess match with them, break tendency, and go play action and go for the big shot? And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. On second down, it's Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. There's Foles. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Seahawks take over first. So let's glance at a player's spotlight now with Russell Wilson. And it's been a good game for him to this point, Charles. They're winning on the scoreboard. They got to be feeling pretty good. And it's always fun for them when they're not just winning on the scoreboard, but they're contributing in a big way. As you see him throwing touchdown passes, watching this video here. It's got to be a fun time for him and a relaxed time because nothing is pressing. Relaxed, cool, calm, collective, all those things describing him right now. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. 
This is what NFL offense is called four minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They run it with Carson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Get me! Let's go! And that Let's one go. heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And if we turn to the next-gen stats, the final clocking, well, it's ridiculous. 22 and a half miles an hour. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. From the 29, Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. Now Carson fumbles the football. Pass complete to Chris Carson. A fumble on the play. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. To throw is Wilson. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Will Disley, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone can stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Mark 38! Mark 38! Mark 38! Hey, 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 hey! Mark 38! Mark 38! Now Foles. And he completes it to Cohen. 
The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Foles. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. One last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On first down, Carson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, bip. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards there, first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. And two. On third down, Carson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Out to his left, and he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. So the victory here for Seattle, and I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one, and that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing,